I'm Tom with the Vending Business Show, and I'm here with Larry Towner, the Vending Business Consultant with Service Group International, and uh, we're we're finishing up a series on vending business tools. Only this is more about tips. So uh, tell us what we're going to be talking about today, Larry. Well, Tom, you and I were just talking. We decided we were going to talk a little bit about security. So I wanted to uh, tell a quick story here because. Uh, I'm 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 a storyteller at heart. What can I say? But I had a I had a route man one day, one time who used to have a really bad habit, and his habit was he would take the money out of the machines, put it in the bags, and then he would take and put it in a box and set it on the table, and then turn around and service his machines. Well, one day one day he did that, and of course there's a couple people in the room, and he turns around and his box with the money has taken a vacation on him. It's gone out the out the door with somebody that we never did figure out who took it. So we wanted to talk to you a little bit about security and that's kind of a seems like an exaggerated story but there's plenty of stories of theft that go on in the vending industry because after all we do deal in cash and the basic problem in dealing with cash is people want it. They really want it, you know, and they'll just take it cuz they think it's great, you know. And besides, you the Mr. Vending Man, you make all that money. Oh my god, help me, right? So you can spare some of that money. But anyway, the, the biggest thing I want to talk about, it has to do with, um, with your habits and how you do things. Um, one of the, the big things that I always did, and, and, and I'm a big, I have my head on a swivel all the time. I forever am looking to the sides and looking backwards. I look around. I pay attention to what goes on in my surroundings. You pull into a place and it's late at night, you know, and you're alone or you've got very few people there. You really need to have your head on a swivel. You've got to be very careful of who's around and things like that. And that even goes for the daytime. You've got to be aware of what's happening in your environment, especially when you're dealing with money. One of the other habits is don't do what my route man did. Don't take the money out of the machine until the very last part of the, of the service cycle. It kind of makes sense, but I see people do it. I've ridden with other vending men, and they'll do it vending people, whatever, and they'll do it in, 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 in before they're done. So one of the things that I always say is keep your head on a swivel. You know, look around a lot and really pay attention to what's going on around you, what's going on around your truck. Don't get out of bad habits. Don't do the same thing every time when you go to an account. Don't go to an account the same time every day. The, the, the criminals, if you want to call them that, the real criminal, somebody that intentionally comes to steal from you will be watching you and they will watch you and they will know how long you go in to work in that stop and they'll break into your truck and they'll take stuff or money, try to find money, but they'll take your stuff too. And if you get in the way, they tend to not be very nice. So it's kind of a lot about safety and a lot about things like that. One of the other things, another tip that you can do to, to stay secure is make sure people in your account know who services that account, be it you or one of your route men, but ha give them an idea of who's there and, and, and if you can, get them to challenge anybody that comes in to work on the machines. This comes from, an, I believe it was automatic merchandiser or vending times, it doesn't matter, but there, there are people out there that have picks for locks and, and they have the round key lock picks and they will actually follow men, vending people around about half the time between your service intervals they go in and help themselves to the money. Well they don't take it all so it can take you quite a long time before you figure out that you're actually having a theft problem. I'm, I'm reminded of this because in this one particular case that they mentioned this, this particular criminal got caught because the person at the front desk challenged him. He said, oh, I work for the vending company. She didn't recognize him. She called the vending company. Vending company said, we don't have anybody working out there right now. They called the police. That guy got put in jail. But he said he took $67,000 from that company in a two-week period following their vending man around and picking the locks, and they never knew. They never knew it was going on. And it got he got caught because somebody in the account said, you don't work for that company. And he was dressed like a vending man. He had a uniform on, the whole deal. But he was very crafty, but he, somebody knew him. So that's a good tip. One of the other, you know, the other tip I, I can't stress well, enough. Hold, hold on to that one. Uh, yep. So what, what, what can a vending company do to help the front office uh, uh, sniff that kind of thing out? 
Well, if you really, if you introduce your yourself to somebody in the front office or wherever you enter the building, and even at the machines, if you get to be friendly with some of the people there, they'll get to know you. Well, somebody goes up to the machine, and 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 if you if you change personnel or if somebody different's working the account, say, oh yeah, I work with so and so. If you if they don't know who that is, like let's just say you know Tom, you work with me and you're in servicing an account, well, I have to go do it for you one day, and somebody comes up to me and they say, oh, you know, how's, how's, where's Tom tonight? And you go, oh, yeah, Tom, um, yeah, you know, yeah, he's a good guy. And, you know, it, it, they suspect it after a while. People aren't, you know, they pay attention too. So you just have to let people know. And if, and if, you're, if you as a route man are out there talking, you say, well, we've only got two guys that work in the company. I mean, I've got a service guy, or he's going to say I've got a service guy and 15 other guys. But you'll, they all know me, and it's just that kind of thing. If you just let people know, they'll keep an eye on your stuff because you're doing them a service. You know, they, they, if you've been inventing a while, you'll find out that they really depend on you a lot, or at least they did on my accounts. They really depended on, on me for their snacks because they were hungry, you know, and that they, they wanted to eat, so they wanted to make sure that they were being taken care of. So that's a that's one way to do it. Um, keep, you know, stay observant. Get out of patterns. Don't do the same thing at the same times every week. Um, make sure that you don't don't put all your money in one place or get a safe and put it all in the safe. Now, they'll work on the safe, too, and they'll steal the safe, or they'll steal the truck and steal the safe. Um, but either way, you can do a bunch of things. So that's just a couple of ideas, but the biggest thing is pay attention. Just keep your head on a swivel. Don't get lock-stepped into anything. You know, don't flash the money around. Don't don't stick it in the bags behind your back so people don't see you. Things like that, and just don't show how much is there, and it'll re greatly reduce your your chances of being stolen from. Excellent tips. Thanks so much, Larry. And uh, you know, if you want more good vending business tips like this, be sure to subscribe. You've been watching the Vending Business Show, a publication of A&M Equipment Sales. <laughs>